Welcome, everyone. We are so excited to be doing this. It was supposed to happen last year in April, and we're so grateful we have the opportunity to make it happen virtually this time around as well. We have some really excellent panelists with us who are going to share with us um, their perspectives, their experience as being German culture, language in the Bay Area, the history of Germans in the area, and um, some other great events. So first, I'd like to introduce Jonathan Becker. Um, our general consul, um, Uli Zudbeck, is also here, and he's going to talk to us a little bit later about Germans in the Bay Area and how he ended up here. And then our final um, panelist is Frank Marx. He's going to talk about um, a lot about German history in our area and about how, if you're interested in connecting to the German community culturally or business-wise, what you might want to do, who you might reach out to. We have lots of Germans on the German or the Sharks roster over time, but we have a special visit. We do. We were able to, uh, to pull some strings here and we have a special greeting uh, from one of our own players here, Leon Bergman, who is uh, currently playing in Germany right now, wanted to uh, give everyone here a little shout out. So if we could have that queued up here. Hey guys, this is Leon Bergman, and uh, I wish you a happy German Heritage Night, and I'm proud to represent Germany. Uh, hello, hier ist Leon Bergman. Um, ich komme aus Iserlohn im Sauerland. Hello everyone. First of all, I really wanted to say a very, very warm welcome from, from our side, the German Consulate General here in San Francisco. And I would like to wholeheartedly welcome you all, you that is the audience, of course, it's Jonathan, it's his team, it's some real players, and my friends from the German International School of Silicon Valley, and of course, all other guests, and you're all special and welcome and wonderful. And I'm so happy that you're actually all, and especially the German school, contributing to this German Heritage Night. Um, California has been sort of a land of dreams for many, many, many Germans, and I am one of them. We Germans love California for all the good cliches you can have about a part of, of the world. And I certainly found out that the good cliches, uh, they fit. So Germans love the spectacular nature, the welcoming people, the great sportsmanship here, the academic excellence, the spirit of tolerance and freedom of expression. And they love the fact that this is a part of the world where you can really turn your dreams into reality, moonshots, moonshot ideas into reality. And that's why lots and lots of Germans um, are here, come here and love coming here. Um, Jonathan, I think you are the next perfect person to talk to because you used to work for SAP, but... Correct me if I'm wrong, you quit SAP, which is, you know, a great employer, I heard, but you quit them to work for the Sharks. Susan, you're right. Um, the Sharks is essentially my fourth career. I was a computer programmer earlier in my career, and then I was a three-time startup CEO. My last startup got acquired at SAP. I spent a decade at SAP in a whole variety of roles. Uh, the last two were the chief marketing officer and the chief digital officer. And then you're right, uh, in May of, I guess that would have been 17, I left SAP. But this is a passion job. Hockey is the best sport in the world. Sorry if you're- yes, it is. Sorry for everybody here who might be a football fan. And I mean the uh, real football, not the American thing. But hockey is a great sport. But the games, the Sharks games are really fantastic. There's so many traditions and so many unique things about the shark tank, right? You told people about this, but you didn't tell yeah. them what it was. So- Oh, so I figured we'd get to that. For the people that didn't figure out, that that looks like a shark's mouth, right? That's the teeth chomping down and it's actually called the chomp. And when you do that, you do that when the team is on what's called a power play, which means the other team, the competitor team has done something wrong. And one of their players has been put in the penalty box. And, and the penalty box literally is what the name implies. It's like a little cage that they have to sit in. And all us fans point at them and taunt them and say, see, you've done something bad. It's like sending a little- It's hockey player timeout. 
It's, it's timeout. Right. It's timeout for hockey players. Yeah. But here's the unusual thing: if you don't know hockey, is because you can't replace the player in timeout. So the team with that had the penalty, the timeout, is playing with one less player, which gives them a distinct disadvantage. And while this happens, we do some Jaws theme style music for everyone that yes. remembers that. And all the fans, especially the kids, but all the fans do this to show that it's an exciting time. That is definitely the most important tradition. Absolutely. Absolutely. The other thing that's probably most important is Sharky. Oh, well. And he cut. Sharky! <laughs> that's our surprise guy. Oh, oh look at that. good nabbing. Hello, Sharky. Sure, that's good nabbing. Sharky is, for those who don't know, the single best mascot in all of sports, not just in hockey, but he's the best, ma he or she, we actually don't know, is the best mascot in all of sports. Aw, um, hi, Sharky. And oh, those are pictures of when Sharky went to Germany. Sharky, you went to Germany? Actually, the whole Sharks team went to Germany and played a game in the SAP arena in Mannheim. And Sharky joined them and we played there. That for those that have been to Monheim, that's where Monheim Adler plays. And we went and played an exhibition game, and that's Sharky there touring around Germany and being interested. I think that's a picture of Heidelberg down at the bottom there. I think we have some German lessons. We should do we should definitely do some German lessons. I think that'll be good. So since we have German players in the system, we thought that some of our current players should learn some German. Hi. Hi. I'm gonna teach you the word shark. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Hi, Schmimmin and Mia. Hi. Go sharks. Slitcher. 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 Before man auf den Eis geht, braucht man Slitcher. Go Sharks! Straight sh strike. <laughs> Schiedsrichter. <laughs> nice. Schiedsrichter. Schiedsrichter pfeift das Tor ab. Schiedsrichter. Oberspieler. Oberspieler. <laughs> der Abwehrspieler. Der Abwehrspieler hilft, das Tor zu verteidigen. The Abwehrspieler. E Bing Mash Shin. Ash Bertin Maschine. Eisbearbeitungsmaschine. Die Eisbearbeitungsmaschine macht das Eis wieder schön glatt. Eisbearbeitungsmaschine. Rockende Schmlosch. Rückhandschuss. Rückhandschuss. Per Rückhandschuss schoss er das Tor. Rückhandschuss. Angriffszone. Angriffszone. In der Angriffszone steht das Tor des Gegners. Angriffszone. Haifischbecken. 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 Die Haie schwimmen im Haifischbecken. Haifischbecken. Suspensiorum. Okay, so I'm looking at this. Suspensorium. Suspensorium. Das Suspensorium ist Teil der Schützkleidung. Go Sharks! Eierbecher. Hockeyspieler tragen einen Eierbecher. Eierbecher. Thanks to all our kids volunteers. Those are all German International School of Silicon Valley students in uh, San Francisco and in Mountain View campus. They volunteered to help us out teaching our Sharks players from Germany. But if I were someone with German heritage or if I were looking and finding people with mm -hmm. German culture or language or businesses, where would I reach out that? There's a German Facebook 
Facebook group uh, called um, Germans in the San Francisco and Bay Area. And they were uh, very welcoming. So I found friendships there. And now five years later, I even founded my own little German group called the Kaffee Kränzchen. Well, um, what about <laughs> other, other local events that might be? So yeah, there are a lot and... of, there are a lot of local events. There's a Mai Fest, which happens in Mai. Then there is the, um, uh, the Christmas market. Have you been? Yes. And I, we've heard from a lot of people that it's, it just, it helps feel like home. It's hard to make a, um, a Weihnachtsmarkt here Weihnachtsmarkt and not be, you know, it's different from being at home, but it's definitely something that we can do. And we're so proud to be able to bring that here. I love that you've been. I lived in downtown Mountain View for 11 years and have been to the market every year. You have? Yes. What's your favorite part of our market, Jonathan? Blue wine. <laughs> that is, that's the right answer. <laughs> that's great. That's, that's excellent. So I'm going to tell you, my friend Arn Petner, who is a wonderful journalist in Oakland. And so he has a um, Radio Goethe, which is also one of the, um, the radio shows. And he's like two hours every week. And you can hear more, especially for Americans who want to hear more about uh, German history. And so, someone said, someone said the Berlin and Beyond Film Festival yeah. is a great thing to um, get to know other Germans and to get a little bit more knowledge about German heritage. And it's amazing. It is every year, I think in February. Is that right? February? Yeah, I think, I think this year the timing's a little bit different, but usually in February, end of January, yes. early February. Thank you so much, Nick and the Sharks, for making this dream come true. It was a, a little idea that um, we actually were able to make happen in spite of all this craziness. Thank you, Jonathan and Frank and Uli, all for um, your research and for your time and your um, contributions to our German Heritage Night tonight. It was Really such a great opportunity to talk to all of you and hear your stories. And to our attendees, I wish I could see you all and, and just say thank you all for being here and joining us in um, especially to all the kids. Um, it was really great that you're here because I know, I know there's a bunch of kids at home listening and, and um, so um, I cannot wait for next season when we can go to the tank together and um, chomp and cheer for the chart sharks. So thank you all for joining us. Have a great evening and go sharks. Go, go sharks. sharks. And we can't wait to see everyone in person. <laughs> Take care, everyone. All right. Bye. Good night. Good night.